Modern Autonauts. So I've not played this yet, but I'm very excited for it. Apparently there's a tutorial. Hopefully we get it by just going new game. You guys will have to let me know how the, the volumations are. There we go. Tutorial. Uh, colonize, free. Oh, okay. Meet formal targets. Free is all structures are unlocked. And then creative is complete freedom. Planetary scan. So that's the idea. We're colonizing planets and we're doing it primarily with robots. So there's a variety of resources around. Rich stone, clay, metal ore, coal, water, swamp tree, cereal crops, and cotton crop. Okay. So this is our planet name and our seed. So presumably, if people use the same info information over here, they would get exactly the same planets we've got. I'll, I'll start with this, that location. That's fine. Toggle size, random objects, tutorial. I don't know. Seems okay to me. Let's start. <laughs> Can't possibly make Berlin worse than it is so you can play it casually. Well, the thing is, Berlin is great to navigate, you know, on foot or, you know, via public transit. I, I don't know what driving would be like. Oh my god, it has cat ears! Welcome, I am Auto Zero, here to prepare you for your life as an autonaut. Explo- oh my god, it's so adorable. Explore, collect resources, craft re structures, tools, and machines. Automate systems, establish industries, research, colonize. So many exclamation marks. Oh my god, it looks, it kind of looks like I have some sort of hoodie with the bunny ears. <laughs> Let's colonize. WSD to move around, and you can use the middle mouse button. Excellent. Scroll wheel. Uh, X refocuses the camera back on us. So we have an actual character representing us on the map, okay? New planets need exploration. Left click on a destination to enter the shaded area. You need to discover basic tools and resources to get started. Left click to move? What? What is this? Um, oh, more exploration? More exploration? Okay, now for the basics. Find a stone. Left click on objects to pick them up. Right click on the ground, drops all objects held in your hand. Okay, so we're gonna go and find a rock. It's totally rocks, you guys. Oh, I like how the grass here, it's all low, low fi, low poly stuff, but it moves around and it reacted to us moving through it as well. Uh, you can only hold one type of object at a time, at once, so make use of your backpack. To throw the stone into an empty slot, press Q or click the icon. Okay, it's in the backpack. To retrieve the stone from your inventory when your hands are empty, press Q again or click on the icon. Hold down Alt and hover your pointer over an object to see what actions you can do with it. These can change depending on what you're holding. Okay, what does it want me? Oh, a different object. I see. Okay, I need to do three different things. Use a stick or flail to beat bush and release fruit. Uh, hold one stone to use it as a basic chopping tool. Find a tree and left click on it to chop down. White outline on the tree shows you can use the stone on it. So, yeah, it's got a white eye. Ah, oh, I see, and a little check mark. Yes, you can do this. So we're gonna bash this tree with a rock. It's very frenetic. Oh my god, and the green screening. The green screening is real. Uh, you don't need that stone right now. Right clicking on the ground drops all objects. Boom, done. Good, you obviously get the basics. Do I though? As your technology evolves, you unlock blueprints to build structures, machines, and more. Click on the icon or press E to access your structural blueprints. Structures may be built on most clear surfaces. Let's build a simple workshop. Select, click the crude workbench blueprint to select it. Crude workbench needs log and stick. Left click on the ground to place the selected blueprint and create a foundation. Press R to rotate it beforehand. Close the menu. Collect parts needed to build crude workbench. Right click on foundation to add them. You can check what you need by hovering over the foundation. Right, so I need logs and sticks. It's cute factory. That's a good description. So, yeah. So it says I can hold, like, one type of each thing. So it looks like I can hold multiple copies of sticks. But that's probably it. So if I right-click here... There you go. If I right-click again... Ah, oh, it's red, so I can't do it. So if I click there, I just drop it on the ground. Excellent. So then I need log. So that's one. Oh, I'm sweating. It's too heavy. So I need another log. So I need to bash another tree down, presumably. Grab a rock. 
Bash at a tree. Hey, Katie. Yeah, doing well. Thank you very much for asking. Hope you're doing well as well. So adorable! This game is too cute. Hey! Nice. With the simple workshop, you can build basic tools and parts. Let's make a better chopping tool. Left click the workbench to access its blueprints. Click the crude axe to select it. Okay, stone plus stick. All right, so stick goes in there. Uh, stone goes in there. Oh my God, I'm getting grease green on my neck. Uh, cool, your first tool. Click the crude act, it picks it up. Remember, you can press Q to stow it when you're holding... Yeah, alright. No, where's the axe? Oh, down here. Use the crude axe to chop a fallen log to make planks. Okay, well, presumably I can chop a tree with this axe. Maybe faster than I could with the rock. Chop plank to make poles. Planks and poles are essential parts for basic machines, structures, machines, and bots. Bite my shiny metal bot. Sweet, you've obviously got the hang of this lumberjack malarkey. Now you know how to make basic parts. Let's expand your workshop by building a new structure. Press E. Okay, new structure. Bot assembly unit. Yes, please. Left click on the ground to place the selected blueprint. Create a foundation. Right. I wonder if, like, these arrows, if I'm going to want to line them up into things. Let me just put a one gapper in here for now. We need two logs and three planks. Okay, so mostly we're going to have to go around and murder a lot more trees. Hey, War Eagle. And later, move all structures. No need to exactly plan your, your layout. Nice. Okay. That is really good to know. So, nope. It's not actually what I meant to do. So hit Q. There we go. Now I can pick this up. Okay, I can only pick up one log. That, seem, that seems pretty legit. Can we make hand grenades to murder trees? Yeah, we Factorio now. And then we're going to need three planks. I have one plank here, so I'm going to have to cut down some more trees. Now there's some more trees down there, but I'm wondering if I just go and explore over here. Boop, that is really cute sounds. Well, I don't know, but uh, is it cute? There you go. Cute to repick this up. New plant trees, nice. More flamethrower boulders, Hanks are needed. Can program a robot to murder trees. Can program a robot to plant trees to murder. Excellent. One, two, and three planks. And we're gonna go and throw that over there. And you just stomp on it to make the structure. Yay! Groovy! This is the basic bot workshop. It's your gateway to automation. You make a bot to teach. Basic bot. Log, plank, pole, tree seed. All right. Tree seed. Pole. We need three planks. Well, we're definitely going to have to chop down another tree. And it's only two planks. Yeah, I can definitely see how it's going to have the Factorio vibe of like, you're doing things to be able to automate things so that you can do more things more faster, so you can automate more things more faster, and over and over. Yeah, the tools do seem to have durability. I like how they just keep they keep stacking vertically like this. That's a good touch. Oops, wrong button. I was right clicking. Mako, it's a 12 month Twitch anniversary. Hey, Mako, thank you. Left click your new bot to charge it up for the first time. It's a crank. Autonauts, assemble. You ready? Start automating. Your new bot needs a crude axe, so let's make one. Blueprint's already selected, just collect parts and right click to drop. Right, so we need a stone and a stick. We got a stick over here. Is the bot following me? 
No, no, that's my tr my teaching bot. Never mind. My my new bot is over here. So I still need a stone. Have I found any more rocks? Oh, there's a ton of rocks over here. It's like a cute version of Factor. Cutorial. Pick up the crude axe. Right click on the bot to give it the crude. This sounds like a good thing. We're arming our robots. The revolution is going to come real fast, you guys. Oh, he just threw it. Oh, he's got in his little grip in front. Ready to roll. Prepare to follow my instructions exactly. Got your crude axe ready. Plus space to blow your whistle to get your bot's attention. Ooh, okay. Select bot to teach. Left click your bot to access its brain, which is currently empty. Much like my own. Exactly like I tell you. Click the record button, then show your bot what to do. As it watches you, it will create a script to copy you. Okay. Record. Show your bot how to use the crude axe to chop down a tree. I'm going to equip my axe. Come over here. Move to tree. Okay. 11 kilobytes free. Use held item. Find nearest tree in a zone. Move to tree. Use held item. All right. I can see how the program is going to work. Click the repeat button to add a loop to the bot script you created. Left click, toggle repeat forever. Left click and drag, insert repeat. Repeat forever. Click the play button to test your robot script. Great, your first automation. Your bot won't stop until it runs out of power, breaks its tool, or has no more targets in its search area. Now we have a bot chopping down trees for us. Let's automate more. We don't need to see that bot's brain for now, so let's close it. You need to make a new bot to teach your first, a new bot to teach. Your first bot is helpfully providing raw resources. Yes. So make another bot so he logs. So logs are being made. We still need planks, poles, and a tree seed. That's a stick. Pro tip, name your bots to their function. Yeah, I think that's exactly what's going to happen. Um, log pole. So there's a log. Oh, I still have. Oh. Oh, right. And I'm going to have to. So why are you stopped? There's a tree over there. Something with your area? Well, we'll, we'll take a look at that up. Could be power. Well, we'll take a look at that. We'll just keep going through the tutorial. Um, I need a log and a pole. Yeah, presumably we're going to be able to make some sort of storage area or something like that and maybe add an instruction to go and collect the things and return them after. So for a pole, what I'm going to do is... I don't know why they... Commands aren't always going through, but okay. It's been the most furious Autonauts I've ever had. Well, I could see this becoming, like, depending on how, how much depth there is, this could become, like, a significant game for us. Did I already have a pole? I mean, there were sticks. Oh, there was a pole over there. Yeah, I could have used that, but that's okay. Let's kick your bot to charge up for the first time. Crank, crank, crank. Second bot is ready to teach. For the next job, you'll need a crude spade. All right. Stone plus stick. Stick. Funny stick. And a stone. Yay! Pick up the crude spade, press space to blow your whistle, and get your bot's attention. Okay. Click this bot. Record. Left click on soil to use the crude spade. I mean, is... Okay. Ah, that's soil. Got it. Move to soil. Use held item.
Bots operate within defined areas which you can edit. Click the bot search area button. Okay, you can grab the whole search area to move it around or pull its edge to change the shape. For now, click the max area. Okay. Done. We're going to add a loop so it does it forever. Now, right click the bot to give it your spade. And click play. Okay. Make another robot. Uh, you almost have your first automated industry of basic forestry. Makes another robot teach it to plant tree seeds to make the operation sustainable. See, we're environmentally friendly right from the start. Um, so, pole. Throw that in there. Yeah, there's a little checkbox for the forever. I don't, I don't know if that's something we need to interact with. And yeah, the first bot. Here, let's actually go and take a look at it. Yeah, so it has a question mark, presumably because it can't find what it needs. So I can click on this, um, except I can't see the box. Oh, I have to stop you. Yeah, I think it's because this is in the way. We'll come back to it. Okay. Um, or does it just need charging? Oh, but I can move you. What if I put you down here? Is it going to change your area? No. Okay, well, we'll come back to you when the tutorial's over. Uh, I need my axe and my axe. Well, no, oh, is, is that... Click record to edit? Okay, I assume that message was to edit the entire thing as opposed to just the zone. Okay. I didn't want to hit record because I didn't want to modify this part. I thought we could just change that without going to record mode. Okay, all right. Good now. No, I saw it. It just contextually didn't seem like the thing I wanted to do. Okay, that's more than we need, but that's going to be okay, I guess. Although, there we go, we broke our tool. Let's check the check tick box to handle lack of resource other areas. Okay, well, we're, we're going to look at those again when we, um... So we just need a log. When we, uh, are done with the tutorial. I'm also curious as to whether you have to do a record to show bots or you can just like type stuff in or modify it that way. Like just do sort of more direct programming. Bot made, bot charged. Finish automating basic forestry. Press. All right, blow my whistle. Click the brain. Record. Find a tree seed. Click on hole. Oh. Oh, right click on the hole to drop it in there. Okay. It's a good thing it like didn't actually take those inputs this time for the tutorial. Alright, find tree seed, move to seed, pick it up, find hole, move to hole, use held item. Yeah. And this one's out of power. Hey! Mummy's special little autonaut is my achievement. Amazing! You store multiple small items in your inventory, would that mean less? It might actually, maybe, yeah. Yeah, maybe there's more than one slot in the backpack? Here's your Academy Basic Commemorative Slab. Ooh! <laughs> Welcome to the Academy, just earned your first uh, autonaut certificate. Here's a new plan and new certificate to earn. You can pin the plan to reference it while playing. Okay, it doesn't take the input right now. But all blueprints and related parts can be found here. You can even click on parts to see where they came from. Lots of handy hints. There you go, pin you. So chop down trees, dig soil, trees planted. So presumably this is happening. Am 
mushrooms, grain. Not all to see what actions you can do with it. Okay. Alright, um, so stop, record, modify, max area. Uh, well, this is the bot search area. I wonder if there's something you can do to, like, make it a little easier to... You know, not constantly have to update these areas? Crank you up again, good. My first forestry. Okay, so it's pinned here, so it doesn't stay up, that's okay. And then you over here. So I guess I space to whistle, then click on you. Then stop, then record. And then move you down here, and hit OK. And play again? A little awkward, but sure. Oh right, if the three if the bots were all working in the same area because they'd constantly be replanting things. They'd be spending some amount of time idle. But they would always end up having being able to do something. Okay. Well it might be able to like move the bots into this area. There's like a lot of soil in one big chunklet, and this might be a good area to move them all. What do you think, Bunisher? I think that sounds pretty good. Yeah, I did notice that. You can just click on the bots here. So you can't find soil. Okay, so... Stop, record. I feel like there's there must be another way to do that. Or hopefully there will be. So I'm going to move you to down there. And yeah, we should rename these as well. Oh! Your first... My first forestry commemorative slab. Uh, we've unlocked the chopping block! Presumably. Oh! Now there's a lot more stuff! Okay! So for lumber, we have to build a couple of chopping blocks. Log stored, log chopped, plank stored and chopped, pole stored. We need to make a new bot to teach. Oh, okay, it sort of loads into a new sort of tutorial. Um, hang on a sec. This is the planter. There we go. Uh, soil digger. Right now, hole digger. And the tree chop downer. Alright. Pallet built things. <laughs> this game about other than pissing elves off. <laughs> Can we put bots in the groups? Oh, new team! Hold on. How do I? No, I can't drag and drop. Or maybe it's because we're in tutorial mode. Because as soon as I... It, it does this. So drag and drop doesn't seem to be the way to go. Oh, I broke its tool. Yeah, hold on. Let's, um... And this one needs charging. So, how do I find out... And you've got nothing to do. So I can't interact with you this way. 
So I guess the best I can do is do this. So you're missing a shovel, which I guess I can sort of see in the icon. Feels like there might be another way to do that. Or the spade is what you're missing, right? Um, stone and stick. So if I do this and then hit Q to put you in the backpack and then grab a stone. There you go. 